Welcome to week number four of G.I. Joe Retro Month. And uh, this is G.I. Joe Month, week number four. So glad to have you with us again this week for another exciting episode. And uh, this week we're doing a vehicle driver from the Retro Line. We are doing Retro Line Crankcase. Which comes from, which came with the Retro Line All Striker that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. Or a couple months ago, back in August. So definitely check it out. And um, before we get to Crank Hates, let's do our shout outs of the week. First, starting with uh, Back to the Media at 48 South Loudon Street here in Winchester, Virginia, on the Walking Mall. So definitely check it out. It's a great store, great place to go to. So definitely check it out. And uh, it has video games from Utari, all the other current systems, as well as games to go with it. And uh, you, they also have Funko Pops, comics, and more. But if you're looking for other Funko Pops that Back to the Media does not have, you can go to um, Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles, which has an array of Funko Pops and other stuff. You can definitely check them out. And uh, they also have G.I. Joe and He-Man and Thundercats and so on and so forth. And I actually got him with the All Striker at Crankcase back during tax time. So, him with the All Striker, I mean. So, I definitely got him from Time Travelers. And uh, so, definitely check them out. Go to them and get everything they got. But uh, you can also get other stuff from there as well Transformers too. But uh, definitely check them out. But uh, if you have a comic book itch that you need scratch, go to 80 Weems Lane to uh, Four Color Fantasies. You can get Marvel, DC. At all points in between. So definitely check them out. You can get all kinds of comics from there. If, and this channel is a mental health support channel. So uh, if you need any kind of counseling or any other mental health issues, you can go to both uh, Healing Grace Counseling Services at 133 West Pascal Street, Suite Number 10, and check them out. Check Robert C. Brown out. And if he doesn't offer the services that you need, you can go to Four Color Fantasy, or not Four Color Fantasy, Northwestern Community Services for all other mental health needs. So definitely check them out. And if you are in the Winchester, Clark County area and you need a bank to go to, may I suggest um, going to Four Color, going to uh, Bank of Clark County if you need a bank. You go to any bank and get all kinds of services. I've been with them since 2018. Now it's time for our nationwide shout out. If you need insurance for auto, renter's insurance, house insurance, or insurance on any other object that you have, motorcycle, boat, you go to State Farm and uh, have a conversation with Jake, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, go and see State Farm, they're a good agency. I've got renter's insurance from them since, um, for the last, since 2019. So, I'm glad to be with them, and uh, they're a great insurance company. I got them for my G.I. Joe and Transformers collection. So, I'm kind of glad to have them. And I have the renter's insurance, so it's pretty cool. But, uh, go ahead and check them out. Now, let's go to our figure, Crankcase, starting with his file card. Where it says Crankcase, and it's got a picture of Crankcase. It's on the front of the box. And you see, this came on the box, as you see by the brown backing. And, uh, it says on it, Crankcase... Roll A uh, A W A All Striker Driver, Primary Specialty Motor Vehicle Driver, Secondary Specialty Armorer, Birthplace Lawrence, Kansas. Crankcase is a former race car driver who, at his best, when when the speedometer is re is redlined. It's kind of brief, other than his former bio, briefer, very briefer. All the retro line cars are bio, bios are very short. And, uh, but let's take a look at uh, his accessories. Starting with his figure stand. So you see Upbrace Cobra G.I. Joe, Upbrace G.I. Joe logo. Crankcase on the front. He also has his, his helmet, which is a little different from Grunt and Dukes. But it's got the little shots on the side. You know, he's a pretty cool looking helmet. And he also has his rifle. This one actually comes with a rifle. So that's pretty cool. Comes with more accessories than the 25th anniversary did. <laughs> but it's still pretty cool. But uh, as you see his uniform, he's got his tan, tan his khakis with the clay, darker clay colored boots. Black gloves, black strap for a knife, but it's not a working holster and he doesn't come with a knife. 
But he's got his green shirt with the tan collar and his clay, dark clay, uh, web gear. And as you see, he's a ginger. Pretty cool orange hair, orange beard and mustache. You know. So I can see him being totally pale. But, uh, his articulation, head rotates a full 360, has no wiggly waggly. His arm can stretch out to at the shoulder that high. His arm can roll all the way around. His arm can elbow can bend, wrist swivel, elbow swivel. And then he's got his ab crush, but it's not as visible because of the web gears. His leg crankcase, he has no split. They can hold up, but he can hold up better than crankcases. I mean, not a crankcase, but a grunt. Double knee joint. Ankle can pivot. Rotate. And whatnot. And, you know, good articulation. Just take a look at him geared up. Here's Crankcase all geared up. I mean, here's a really cool looking figure. You can tell he's got that race car mentality with him. You know, so that's pretty cool to have it. But, uh, his, he's ready for battle, ready to drive the All Striker. You know, so I'm glad to see him come with weapons, even though vehicle drivers really shouldn't, because how can they hold their weapons while driving? But leave it up to Crankcase, he'd probably find a way. <laughs> but, uh,. For vintage videos of him, you can check out ACC 788, 4MBX 257, uh, Half the Battle, you know, so on and so forth. ACC also does a look at the retro line vehicle with this figure, so definitely check that video out. Um, these guys do better videos than me, but, uh, you know, I've been at this for five years, almost five and a half years, and I'm thankful to be a part of y'all's community, and I'm glad you watch. Um... So definitely this is a good figure to have. You know, I'm glad to glad to be a part of this. But uh tune in next week to see our last retro line G.I. Joe figure. Which is actually the last one I have to review for this. But uh tune in next week to to get uh, to watch it. And this has been G.I. Joe and uh G.I. Joe's crankcase. This has been Cobra Island. So tune in next week. Peace, love, and hair grease.